Over on your home on the of James, we're in the front yard today. We're checking out my lawn after a long winter and what we're going to do to get it uh, back to its beautiful summer glory. We've got some cacao here, warm season grass. It's just starting to warm up. Uh, I see a lot of people doing renos, just going to hold off for the moment. We're going to talk some weed treatment today. So let's jump on in, have a bit of a look around at the lawn and what weeds we've got going on and how we're going to tackle it. Let's go. Okay, so let's have a look at how this lawn has fared and uh, at the moment I've given it a slow release fertilizer. Uh, I've hit it with some sea salt to activate the soil and I've hit it with a power feed as well to get things going. Uh, I've given it two mows so far this spring, uh, one with the rotary mower just to knock it down a little bit and then I hit it with a cylinder mower. I'm mowing it about uh, probably between 20 and 25 mil, so pretty high um, from where I normally run. I don't want to go too low just, just yet. Uh, but as you can see, we've still got a nice bit of green in here. We have had we got a, a week there where we had some nice weather and it really did green it up. But we're back into sort of cold. I'm back in a, in a jumper sort of thing at the moment, so a bit cold. Um, but plenty of winter weed has taken a hold. So you'll see here, we've got some, we've got some cat's ears and I usually try and pick these as much as I can before the treatment. So I've already picked a few out. Um, I'll give you a look at an example. They love growing in the cracks. You know, these ones here, broadleaf, um, they really do take a hold uh, in my lawn throughout winter. Um, what else have we got going on in here? We've got, uh, there's plenty of winter grass, you'll notice. Probably in my middle patch I've got it a bit more, but I've got all this winter grass here, and I think it's sort of like a, a fescue or a rye. I'm sure there'll be someone in the comments that can tell me exactly what it is. I don't mind it too much. You know, come um, come winter, it goes nice and green while the cacao is having a bit of a sleep, and it makes the lawn look really quite good, so I'm not too perturbed about that. Um, and the, the, the weed killer I'm going to work with today, uh, we'll leave it alone. But as the cacao really goes and gets kicks here and goes hard uh, it takes over that that um, that winter grass anyway um, you can see here we've got some dandelion um, weed as well they might look pretty they uh, they do take a hold in the lawn so we'll knock them out we've also got <clears throat> sort of like a clover looking um, a clover looking weed this one is a Bermuda buttercup so they throw up those you know yellow clovery looking flowers they can really take a hold. I've already pulled a whole bunch of these when I first did a mow, but I'll try and pull that one as well. But they get uh, pretty ugly and they take over. Um, no pass pile on this year. I think I got rid of that last year. That's the one that's got the stick and it looks like it's got seeds all in it. Um, so I sort of got rid of that one. I know a lot of people have a problem with that one. So I'm happy with that. Um, you can see from the mow, I've got all of this white, they look like white uh, string. It's, uh, it's stamen, and you get it when you, uh, when you mow the lawn. Um, and, and basically, I'll have to knock that out with a Primo Max when it's in the growing season, just to slow it down. That stops the seed head. But if I get in close, I'm hoping you can see it. See, there's still little brown seeds on the top of the stalk. And this stuff, you know, when I mow it, it can look really, really white. You have to go back over it again to get rid of it. So um, we'll talk about that later in the season. Um, got a couple of low patches here. Sort of where water likes to pull if we get a heavy rain in the middle. So I'll definitely have some top dressing to do. Uh, and you can see the thatch here, which I'll pull all that out with a scarifier um, come the reno. I won't be doing a reno for a little bit. I went too early last year. I sort of started in September and we had some cool weather after that. And it took a long time for the lawn to recover. So I'm actually going to wait till late October um, before I do my reno. Just to keep it looking tip top and, you know, I can recover it well and truly before sort of Christmas that way. So... Have a look at the middle lawn. Uh, it's looking pretty mint. This one, um, this one takes heaps of this winter grass. It just comes out everywhere, and this middle patch looks really, really green right through winter, uh, which I quite like. So I'm pretty happy with that. Um, probably the only damage throughout winter here was got a bit of a ball patch going on under the tree. Not really sure why. Uh, I might actually dig that patch of soil out and replace it with some better soil because I have had a bit of trouble with that patch, and it is under a. One of my pyrus trees here, uh, which is causing a bit of grief. And then just there's a low patch here. I had a I had a truckie come in and he's rolled his wheel over your lawn, just what you want, right? So I got a bit of a low patch there. So that's the lawn. That's how we've fared for the winter. Let's go and have a look at this weed treatment. Let's go. So for the longest time, I was the uh, the guy that would grab the feed and weed from the hardware store, click it onto the hose, and you know knock out my weeds out of my lawn that way. Which is, you know, is great. I'd say for the majority of people who are just mowing with a rotary mower, they want a nice looking lawn. Um, they do care a little bit more than some people about their grass. I'd say that's totally fine. 
Uh, in my experience, I found that the, uh, the feeding weeds really knocked around my lawn a lot as well and took a bit longer to recover. Um, so I probably upped my game a little bit in that space. Um, and enter bow and arrow. I've been using this one now for a couple of seasons and I can't speak highly enough of it. It's a, uh, a selected herbicide and for the broadleaf weeds that I've got in my lawn, um, this product knocks them out beautiful. As far as application rate, it's uh, 50 mils per 100 square metres of lawn. Um, I've got about 60 squares out the front, so I, I use about 30 mil. And I mix up in five litres of water. I think, it, I think the instructions is 50 mils into, into five litres, and I mix 30 into five. Uh, but I get around my lawn doing that. I just walk slow. A couple of watch outs with this one is, make sure you haven't mowed your lawn for a couple of days beforehand and a couple of days after. You want to let the product sink in. You don't want to have, you know, put it on in the morning and then go and mow in the afternoon. Just leave your lawn for a, you know, block it out for a week. Do this in the middle of the week. The other thing you want to do is make sure you put this stuff on. Uh, I like to do it in the morning because it's less blowy. And even now it's, you know, starting to pick up because it's a little bit later in the morning. You want to get this on nice and early or just on a nice calm still day. And obviously your PPE is important. Um, the other thing to note with this is if it's going to rain, you know, don't put it down. Just use some common sense with this stuff. If it's going to rain, it's going to dilute it and it's not going to work as effectively. I see results from this really quickly. I would say by this time next week, um, I'll have most of those weeds that we just had a look at in the lawn all knocked out. So that's how good this stuff is. So let's go mix it up. Let's, uh, let's go and put down an application. And, and then, yeah, we'll, we'll talk through what we, are, what we can expect. All right, let's mix up. So the sticker on top says shake well before use. So that's what we're gonna do. We'll give it a shake. Comes with this handy little uh, measuring cup, which is always a nice touch. I hate it when you uh, don't get those and you have gotta go rifling through the kitchen drawers and you pinch your wife's you know, measuring cups and then she's not happy. So you can see what it looks like. Sort of looks like some yucky medicine that you would have had as a kid. Um, I've mixed in 30 mil there, so in she goes. Nice, and then I'll just use five litres of water. Um, and then what I like to do as well, I like to make sure that I rinse out this and I'll rinse it into there as I go. So I'm gonna jump over to the hose and do that. So probably just another thing to mention too is that um, turn your irrigation system off, you know, for a, for a good few days um, when you're mixing this product in. You don't want, you know, a really wet lawn or anything like that. You want this to really sink in. So. You can turn your irrigation off for a couple of days. And the other tip when you're mixing any fertilizers or herbicides is go slow with your tap. Um, you know, you might be in a rush to really fill, up, fill it up, but just go slow. It'll stop it foaming up. Um, you know, you'll get a better result and you won't have all this foam spilling over the top, which probably shouldn't be coming in contact with the skin anyway. Beautiful, there's our five liters. All right, here we go. And um, you can see I'll just do a nice slow walk. And let's go back and forward. I do a little bit of backwards walking here, so you know, you might get a little bit of a workout. I get asked a lot about weed treatments. Probably the number one question, because you know, people are on to the fact that I do like my lawn. So, you know, all of a sudden I've got to be the expert. I know a little bit, but uh, there's plenty I don't know. But I know one thing, getting a good spray pack and I'll stick a video link up in the top right now. But getting a good spray pack absolutely makes all the difference. Muck around with those cheap $10 ones from the hardware store. Just stop wasting your money on those. Get yourself a good one, nice even spray. Don't have to pump it too much. It is the dream. All right, I'll finish up here. And then we'll talk what we're gonna do next with the lawn. And there you have it, weed treatment all completed. So just the last thing to do now is wash out your spray and you're good to go. So that's the end of the video. I hope you liked it. I hope it gave you some tips uh, on how to knock out some of the weed in your lawn. Uh, and you know, great product to use. Um, you can pretty much get it anywhere, if not buy it online. I think it was about 50 bucks uh, a bottle. Next thing I'll be doing with the lawn uh, is my spring reno. So I'm gonna leave that for a couple more weeks yet, uh, but I'll share that with you uh, when I do it. But you've been home on tools with James. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video.